time for another edition of Live from Studio M on 105.5 Triple M. I'm your host, Jonathan Sutton, and today, all the way from the Netherlands, we get to meet a new band. We'll talk to them a little bit about a mutual love they all have, something called The Misses. Talk about being a band on a TV show, and maybe if we have time, life on a roller coaster. But first, let's hear a song from Chef Special, live from Studio M. Bound to be free. It has been clear from the start. I have no fear up in this heart. No boundary. I'm bound to be free. But can you watch me from a distance before I lose the touch of listening? And I don't feel I want to miss what's in your heart. Do, 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 do. in your dark past behind your pebbles feel yet can't see can't unravel you said follow me but you walk behind i had no coat on and we walk no line you said boy go there where there's no sunshine for the darker your journey the brighter your mind and the brighter what you might just go and find don't know what you can't carry walk twice free I have no fear up in this heart, no boundary. I'm bound to be free. Can you watch me from a distance before I lose the touch and listen? And I don't feel I want to miss. In your restless mind in the present time You're trying to hide the low and pretend to hide But you don't have to shine every time I come by I can take it, I, I'm a big guy I know I haven't turned my head much since I left I've been working on success, trying to learn from my regrets now I hope I earn all the love I get Sometimes I give all I have and there's really nothing left It ain't a curse, it's a blessing I hear you think between the turns and the guessing Freedom, all is welcome and nothing is needed But don't clean the office scene, no, don't get greedy Free, it has been clear from the start I have no fear up in this heart, no boundary You're bound to be free Can you watch me from a distance Before I lose the touch of this And I don't feel I want to miss what's in your heart Studio M with Chef Special. 
And uh, Joshua, lead singer, you had a lot of faith asking us to sing along with you. You're in, you're in Wisconsin, where we've got no rhythm. And... Is that a thing? Is that in Wisconsin? Yeah, 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 a little bit. No, it's an easy tune. Yeah, we were, I think we did okay. You did great. We, we, we tried our best. Uh, so let's start off, I guess, with music in the Netherlands. I mean, I, and I mean, we can't just generalize, but I'm sort of doing that right now. Did a lot of your musical influence come from there or more from the States or from... England or where 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 did it all come from I guess all over the place or all over the place I think mostly from here though mm -hmm. I think us growing up listen to a lot of music that was yeah that has its origins where it's based in here like I listen to a lot of hip-hop which obviously came from here yeah. and uh, yeah a lot of rock is also in the family here Jimmy and Peppers, and, but we, you know, we listen to all sorts of music, but it's just a fact that most of the good music comes from America or England, and like in Europe, yeah, we, we just mess with it a little, <laughs> and then we come up with our own, our own thing. Yeah. So there was a scene in Harlem where we all live now, uh, where there's a tradition in like live hip hop bands, which is kind of like how we started out at first. So it does make some sense that we we now. Or living that place. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was some hip hop there. You said. Yeah. Live yeah. hip hop bands. Yeah, there were some live hip hop bands. It was really cool. Like when I was like 12, 13, for the first time I saw a band playing hip hop. Like I used to listen to a lot of rap. And then I saw, a, a, yeah, just a whole band playing hip hop. And it was so cool. And they took it to all these different places and they incorporated like all new sounds and funk in it, or, you know, soul, reggae. It's like, hey, dude, everything's possible. I used to just rap and then just. This dude made beats for me, right? And then, yeah, it's so much more fun to have like, live musicians. Oh, absolutely. So how did you guys, is it an easy story how you all found each other? Or is it kind of it's convoluted it's, and boring? It's, it's a boring story. <laughs> we found each other. Okay. We jammed on a Sunday. We were like, let's do this. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So did you all, anyone come from musical families, really? or? Um, well, yeah, my mom studied classical piano. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. They made me play piano when I was six, but I really didn't like the piano. <laughs> just, I had to study it, read, read like the sheet music. I, I really didn't feel like it was the right thing, but uh, I don't know. Like that's why. My, my dad's a bass player. Yeah. He's a bass player. Yeah. My my dad's a guitar player. So I was okay. I was listening to him play guitar. Yeah, very very inspired me. <laughs> my dad thought he could play the piano. <laughs> so he did that every morning. And my, my, my mother sang in a choir. I sang in a choir when I was little and then started listening to hip hop and the choir wasn't cool anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we're we're definitely ready for another song here. Cool. What have what have you got for us? Uh, the next song is called Still Don't Know. Chef Special live from Studio One. Money maker, never wanna be a 
come true I wanna be just like you Yeah, I wrote bars that set me free I own a car with leather seats I've seen crowds and thousands wave and jump They scream our name when we play them song But y'all, pretty girls, you see my bed? But we may be bobbing the grief and that no I should be here and they couldn't stand Oh, I don't, I don't need progress But man, I still So this is kind of a new, but it feels, you know, new things are always good, right? It's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Yeah. All right, but let's talk about an old friend. So there was the Misses, right? And this was your beloved band? This was our beloved Volkswagen, yeah. Yeah, so what, where, was it a used, what was the, tell us a little bit more about the story, I think. Well, you know, uh, you asked us how we got together. I said, yeah, well, this Sunday, right? We, right. we got together in January. Right. We're like, hey, this feels really good. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, for real, do this together, the five of us. Uh, and to kind of put ourselves to the test, we thought let's buy a, a van. We could throw all our equipment in there and just, you know, impulsively just drive to the, uh, the west coast of yeah, Belgium, France, Spain, and let's see what happens. We're going to try to do as much gigs as possible. We had no up, gigs booked? I mean, like no, we had no, we had nothing booked, but we knew there were a lot of surf places there, a lot of surf camps. In the holiday time, uh -huh. a lot of Europeans is coming there for you know to party and surf. Uh, so we took our chance, and we did a lot of like I think we were out for six weeks or so. We did a lot of shows. It was a lot of fun, and we were on top of each other in this van yeah. called the Misses. Uh, so for us, that those six weeks kind of was like we were born there yeah. in the van. We we became a band in the van. So we thought we uh, yeah the Misses needed some sort of mystification and a name and some honor so our first album uh, is called one for the misses so the missus is gone now she's 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 gone now. <laughs> yeah she's like <laughs> this little, little square yeah right yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 but we had a funeral like a lot of fans showed up really we did a show yeah she was there in the sand with flowers around her it was really beautiful actually. Yeah. that's very nice yeah so how did you come what is chef special is there something that we're missing in translation or what is that mm. or what you mean because it's spelled weird? Well, no, that's okay. Yeah, that's well, I have, to, the ass I have to give you props and credits for spelling it right, though. Right. Thank you. That's sure. Sure. Uh, Digital department did it. But so yeah. the S, for those listening on the radio, the S from chefs is also the S in specials. Yeah. Or special. Yeah. yeah, there's no extra S. Right. No, we just got rid that's, of that. That's one. just for aesthetic reasons, okay. but it gets sure. us in a lot of trouble with the spelling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but what is it? I mean, why? What's that name? Is it happening? It's another it boring story. Bit. You want it? I can, sure. I, can, I can do the short version. All right, here we go. So we were two months a band already. We still didn't have a good name. We're like, ah, we need a good name. Uh, so we got together. We said, we're going to go to this restaurant. We're not going to leave the place until we have a good name. We'll just drink there some and, and eat some, and then we'll walk out with a good name. So we were there sitting, and then this beautiful waitress comes with a, a, a big sign of all the specials of today. She's and the chef special tonight. It's like, hey, why can't we just be that? And we were that. And that's, that's the story. It's a good story. Does and she know that she was part of the inspiration? I don't think so. Well, maybe. I don't know. 
and uh, it makes like later on it starts to make sense because we think like hmm, well we mix a lot of different styles a lot of different uh, well, ingredients so to say so then later on you figure out that our band name actually makes some sense sense too <laughs> yeah. you know? but that came later <laughs> and it was just because it was a hot waitress basically, yeah, basically. now are, does everybody the chef special logo is like a, the spoon and the fork i see does everybody have the tattoo is that part of the deal yeah. Yep. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Did yeah. we all do that at one time, or was like one did it, and then the next no, one? We we had a we had the show. It was like our first real uh, sold out uh, tour that we had in the Netherlands, and it was a show in Utrecht. And we asked like three to two artists that, that came to the show, and they did it backstage uh, before the show. Yeah. For anyone uh, anyone who wanted it, like yeah. from our crew or family members, they could choose to. Get it done so did any more than five get it or just uh, uh, yeah no no our tour manager at the time uh, his father has yeah, one. got it <laughs> your dad got one yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and there are also a lot of fans who are getting it now back in Holland that's pretty cool yeah now I noticed you said your tour manager at the time so now is he like damn it I've got this chef special she is she like yeah. damn it I have this chef special. no I don't think so I think it, it, it she's it, still our uh, our tour manager oh, okay. back home okay in Holland here gotcha. it's a different story right now. right. And also, so then back home, are you singing in English or are you speaking Flemish or Dutch or what is it? What, uh, uh, well, we speak Dutch. Okay. We good. Yeah, in Holland. Uh, but no, the songs are in English. Um, I, I always do my best to speak as much Dutch as possible during, like, in between songs. Mm -hmm. But somehow it feels natural, to, you know, just to continue it in English. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm really happy I can do that here. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I have to you switch. Both? Do uh, most people speak English there or not? No, 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 no it's really just Dutch. Uh, but there's a lot of like... No, in, but in, everybody can both. speak English. Yeah, of course, yeah. understand English, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I mean, did you think to write in Dutch or it's just... Uh, it's just, uh, you, you, can so, you can say so many more things in, in English. Really? And I grew up uh, with English too okay. in my family. And also nowhere else in the world they really speak Dutch. So if you want to go outside of the country, <laughs> it's a tiny country. We always wanted to go like worldwide. Actually, like, right. <laughs> that's our dreams. Right. So uh, yeah, then actually English is like the language most people can understand. So that's also I think. And that's also the language that we're comfortable with because a lot of the music that we listen to is actually right. in English. Sure. Yeah. And you recorded your latest in were you in L.A. or New York to record? We recorded that one in New York, in okay. Brooklyn, and Manhattan. Yeah. So going there was that that was that your first time to New York, or you had been there before? Uh, I think for yeah, for a, a lot of us, for most of us, it was our first time in New York. Yeah, that was a great experience. Yeah. Okay. I don't know because sometimes I think people come in there like, oh, New York, this is magical, or oh, this is so dirty. <laughs> it's both that. It's yeah. all that together. <laughs> New York is a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's. We'd love to hear another song. Then I want to hear a little bit about the late night TV show that you were involved. Cool. And then I think I saw a picture of one of you with Mike Tyson. And I don't know if that was right. <laughs> yeah. But we could get to that. Yeah. Right. So what, what are you going to do for us now? Uh, next song is called In Your Arms. It's a single right now. Okay, it's Jeff Special live from Studio Life. I know you're gone. I know you're gone. But I don't feel what I know. I know you're gone. I know you're gone My mind ain't in control Cause it's my heart that's been missing you When it's the heart I need to listen to When it's been singing songs Pretend to drink the ones you sang To help us sleep And one day I will sing those songs I'll sing them till they sleep Just like you sang to me just like you sang, sang to me Oh, from the day that I met you I stopped feeling afraid In your arms I feel safe In your arms I feel safe From the day that I met you I stopped feeling afraid In your arms I feel safe In your arms I miss you so, I miss you so And I'll miss you till I'm old I miss you so, I miss you so But my fears, they will fade 
song about it mm -hmm. and I wanted it so bad that I started writing all these really stupid songs you know forced and they didn't catch the feel or whatever it had I didn't have I didn't even have a clue of what it should be uh, and it got to a point that it frustrated me so much because it didn't work out I thought okay I'm gonna let throw this away whatever happens happens I'm gonna probably one day write this song but I'm, I'm not gonna force it anymore uh, so we were in New York uh, about to record the whole album, we had all the songs. This song wasn't there yet. We just made the selection, and our producers already said, okay guys, no more songs. These are all the songs we're gonna do, right. and we're, we're gonna start recording the next day. And then G, the guitar player, he played this, the chorus, actually, like, from the day that I met you, I stopped feeling afraid, with the chords, and I know, he just played that, we were like, okay, that's fun. And then we forgot about it again, and then that night, uh, I woke up with that tune in my head, like, hey, I don't know why, but it, it woke me up and I had to do something with it, and then, yeah, I wrote the rest of the, like, the, so the, the lyrics. Yeah. So it's kind of a both. It could be a love song, you know, to me it's about my dad yeah. passing, but I like the fact that it could be anything, like, the chorus, yeah, it could be about me, whatever. For sure. It could even be about the missus. Uh, the missus, yeah. 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 It's a beautiful song. So now a little bit about this TV program, the, the world keeps turning or the world is going crazy, is that what it's called sort of in English or not really? Yeah, the veil of the door. So it does wordplay on both meanings, I guess. Yeah. Is it? Okay, I so is it like here we have the daily show, I'm sorry, we're going to no, say that. No, I'm kind of translated as, as the world turns, it's kind of the same uh, expression, but then the Dutch yeah. version, I guess. But it's kind of like the world, the world keeps turning yeah. and going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think it's all of yeah, it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> So is it kind of like here we have the Daily Show? Is it sort of a, a show about making fun of politics and things, or what? What was it? I or think it? what they try to do, and they do kind of a good job, is trying to be as uh, you know capture the actuality uh, of what's happening today, and they try to you know be funny about it, but also they invite 
people and have like real conversations. It's about politics, it's about television, mm -hmm. about what's on TV, it's about music. It's basically, yeah, just a talk show about so, uh, infotainment. Yeah, infotainment. Yeah, for sure. Like that. Yeah. So, I, so we were the house band? For yeah. It? Like every year they have, a, they have a house band, and the house band uh, comes in every once in a while to play, yeah, to, to do covers basically. Uh, that match the the conversation of that ep of that episode, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a year deal. It was for yeah, a year, a year deal. deal. Yeah. So, I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool. It was. Gig. It was. You know, for us, especially at the time, we were just uh, we had a fan base, which was really cool. And this, you know, being on TV every month, uh, yeah, you just reach a lot of for people. Sure. It was also really scary because we had to do you know covers. We could mash them up a little do our own thing with it, but still, like, you know, I, I remember us doing Freddie Mercury stuff. Yeah, I was like, just about to say. Like, you know, <laughs> really scary stuff you shouldn't touch, actually. <laughs> you know, Good. and we did it National for TV, yeah. all of Holland to see. Uh, so, so they're like, do Bohemian Rhapsody or something like that, or not? Well, we thought it was We Are The Champions, we are the champions. Yeah. Yeah. something it, happened that had to do with that. It just really <laughs> matched the subject, you know, the subject of the conversation. It was like, okay, we have to do it in front of two million people. Yeah. yeah, okay, I can't sing that, but I'll just, you know, swag it, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So would you know well in advance or kind of on the spot, they would tell you? Well, as, you know, it was a TV show, we tried to be as actual as possible. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes we had it a day in advance or two days in advance, but sometimes it was like, oh, this happened. We had to switch, like, oh, three, two, one, live, let's go. <laughs> wow. So it was... It was there was a lot of excitement and tension, and we learned a lot, you know, from you know being on TV. I love I love playing for crowds. Yeah. That's what we do. That's why we're where we are. I think because we that's just the thing we love to do: play festivals. And I always have a hard time in front of cameras because you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't right. know who you're singing for. You can't see the expressions on their faces. They are there. Oh, they are watching. <laughs> yeah. So it was also a good learning. Uh, it was a good experience, yeah. Yeah. Okay, a couple more questions, then we have time for one more song. There's one video where you actually did video, film it on a roller coaster, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, now I, if you're singing through the whole thing and you're running, I am a total whip with roller coasters. Is everybody here good with it, or was anybody in the band? Uh, we had to do that like five times or something. So at, uh, at, at some point, I kind of felt like I had been in that thing long enough. But... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, it got to a point <laughs> where I thought we had to do it one more time. I was I was looking at Bowser, uh, and he was actually green already. <laughs> I can't go in that thing anymore, Josh. I'm, I'm done. I think just one more time, just one more time. And that was the take we used, I think, because we had to deal with the timing of you know the roller coaster, you know, going down in yeah. the exact moment where the you know the music went on. Yeah, and we hit the chorus. The thing should go down. So you got to kind of like start the playback. Right at the yeah, <laughs> it was kind of <laughs> wow. Difficult. So could you hear it when you were on there? Or you were I was the only one who had like the song in my in my ears. It was also a very impulsive thing. It it wasn't like hey dudes, we're gonna record a video, a music video. We were there. We were at the at the park because there was a festival in the park. It was in, and we just thought hey, let's do that. So and there were a bunch of little kids trying to get on the roller coaster. And yeah, we were like hogging it up. We <laughs> went first every time. Everybody was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, so what's the, before we get to the last song, I did see a picture with Mike Tyson. Was that just recently? You were hanging out with yeah, Mike we Tyson? Yeah, in New York. No, we just ran into him. <laughs> it's, we were eating there, he was eating there. And uh, it was just fun, yeah. You know, so you were, just took a picture? I just kind of went, like, oh, Mr. Tyson, can I have a picture of you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure, man. <laughs> so <I did. laughs> Nothing. So. There's no more there. <laughs> All right. All right. We do have time for one more. What do you want to finish up with? Uh, the last song is called Peculiar. It's just special <laughs> live from Studio M. Perfect time. Okay. You can dance if you want to. You must be from Jupiter You made me feel like a man in a rocket Ooh. It's so peculiar Make me sing, make me dance like a puppet now Oh baby, it's so peculiar Just wanna be on your planet forever now Forever now, come on
Jupiter, you made me feel like a man. 